We have a few different options to have tasks recur in Nifty. So let's go through them together. And we're going to be looking at this blog research task. So let's kind of start at the end here with completion. And this one's pretty straightforward. We're going to set recurring. And when this task is completed, a new one will recur. And there it is. So that one's, pre that one's pretty easy. I think we get that one. Uh, next, we're going to do status. And what this is saying is when we move this into a different list in the project, have this task recur. So in this case, we're going to say, I want this to move into task rev task list review. And when that happens, let's create a new task. So we saved it. We can see those parameters are set. And we drag this into review. And a new task recurs. OK, so that one's also pretty straightforward. So now let's get into some of the date-based parameters. And we really have three of those. We have day, week, and month. Day is if you have tasks recurring within a week. Whereas week is if you have them recur on the weekly basis or month on a monthly basis. So in this case, let's let's start with month, just kind of start at the end here. And we'll say in this case, we want this to recur on the first of every month at nine in the morning. And if we set this, we'll see that this recurs the first of every month at nine in the morning. We can actually see the due date change here. And this is when that next task is going to recur, right? And we can even put an end date for this. So let's say I want this to recur at the first of every month until September or something like that. Then we can kind of input where that should go to. Next, we have week. So if I want this to recur every week, let's say Monday 9 a.m. And then we can set this. Maybe this is good for like a meeting. We have a Monday morning meeting, right? And now we can see this again, this updated to the, the next time that this task will recur, which is next Monday, the 27th at 9 in the morning. Lastly, we have daily. And so let's say in this case, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at nine in the morning, we want this task to recur three times a week. It is currently um, Wednesday, July 22nd, and we're past nine in the morning. So the next time that this task will recur is Friday, the 24th at nine in the morning. And so when this task is, uh, when this task recurs on Friday, the 24th at nine in the morning, that next task will be created with a due date of July 27th, which is that next Monday at nine in the morning. And when the one on Monday recurs, that will have a due date of Wednesday the 29th at nine in the morning. So you can see how this due date is automatically gonna update to that next date that recurs uh, for that task. Now you can update this from here. It's not gonna save with the recurring parameters, but you can say, look, I actually want this one done by a end of day. So I can, I can update that here, but that's not gonna change the recurring parameters set here. And so when we complete this task, we can be confident that this one will recur at Friday at nine in the morning.